Let us start with some impressions. Due to their high notch effect and stress concentration, feather key and woodruff key connections are bad from a technical point of view. Manufacturing is also expensive. But they have been used especially for standard electric motors since time immemorial. Standard electric motors with feather keyway and inserted feather key. A collection of metric feather keys. A sprocket with feather keyway. There are ready made solutions for standardized shaft ends, for example, taper lock connections. You don't have to do anything yourself save mounting. Otherwise, you have to take action yourself, milling the keyway into the shaft using either end mills with mostly shorter grooves or side milling cutters, typically with longer grooves. Check with for example a long milling arbor, whether the milling head is really vertical. Next, make sure the fixed jaw of the machine vise is parallel to the x-axis. You can do this with a dial gauge that you clamp into the drill chuck. The drill chuck must be blocked. Now move the machine table along the x-axis. If the machine vise is not parallel to the x-axis, loose the fastening screws a little and tap it in the right direction with light plastic hammer blows. It will take some practice, but you will soon have the hang of it. Finally, tighten the screws properly and check again whether the vise is still parallel to the x-axis. With a test pin, here 12 mm, we will find the middle of the shaft. Now move the table in the y direction towards the shaft until a feeler gauge, here 0.1 mm, fits nicely. Now the table is moved in the Y direction by 15 mm for half the shaft diameter plus 6 mm for half the pin diameter plus 0.05 mm for half the thickness of the feeler gauge, this is a total of 21.05 mm. Here are the metric standards for feather keys and woodruff keys according to German standards. Then let's get started. This is a solid carbide cutter with a diameter of 6 mm. We cannot work with cooling lubricant here because of the video. It is therefore a good idea to remove the chips again and again with a vacuum cleaner, because the chips in the event of a jam break off the cutter very quickly.
it is a good idea to make the groove in several cuts. These solid carbide cutters break very easily. So don't stress, we're not in the industry where time is supposed to be money. Now the whole thing with the 6mm side milling cutter. A side milling cutter would be correct with the very long groove of a 22mm milling arbor. In fact, it was made in this way in the factory, as you can see from the typical ramp of the cutter. Now we will manufacture a woodruff keyway. This woodruff keyway cutter features 6 mm width. This does not match the German standard for a 30mm shaft, which will have a 8mm groove. But I did not have an 8mm woodruff key at hand, thus, if you make the complete connection with shaft and hub, feel free to use your own dimensions. We had the milling cutter scratched the shaft. Now we move it down by 15 mm plus 3 mm, for a total of 18 mm. Scratch again to find the Y0. The side milling cutter and this woodruff keyway cutter are made of high speed steel, thus, their cutting speed is limited to 25 meters per minute or even less. We will dive in Y direction by 6 mm depth. This is a woodruff keyway with my Myford lathe.
Now the second part of the connection, the groove in the hub. There are three ways to do this. Filing. Shaping. Broaching. Let's skip filing. Let's continue with broaching. This is an inexpensive set of brooches from 4mm to 8mm with matching adapters and shims for broaching in several cuts. We want to broach a 6mm wide groove in a gear made of C45, a steel according to German standards which is very tough and used for gears with a 30mm bore. The mechanical 2-ton press is in no way sufficient for this, the 10-ton hydraulic press is needed. Industrial brooches are over 1 meter long, the push brooch here is only 300 millimeters long. Therefore, it has to be broached in several cuts, and a 1.5 millimeters thick packing is now added for the second cut. The height of the gear wheel is at least 31 millimeters, and the material C45 is not exactly butter soft either. A second shim, 1.2 mm thick, is added for the third cut.
test with the woodruff key. Has a bit too much play, obviously the cutter is a little too wide. Test with a 6 mm feather key first the groove made with the end mill. Test with a 6 mm key now the groove made with the side milling cutter. Has a lot of play, but feather keys and woodruff keys are not suitable for play free transmission anyway, and certainly not for alternating loads. Now the shaping of a bore groove, initially with a previously conventional shaping machine. Such machines are no longer manufactured in Germany. The special thing here is that it is a groove in a blind hole. This is only possible by shaping, there is nothing to do with brooches. Now we are working with a self-made shaping attachment. See our video 104, which is attached to a Wabeco milling machine F1200. For some milling machines there are such shaping attachments to buy, if not, just build it yourself. 